One problem you will almost definitely run into when using FlexiTime on Sibelius is the problem of latency. Latency can best be described as a difference in time between when you hit the note on the MIDI keyboard and when you hear that note sounding through the speakers. It's not actually a Sibelius problem, it's more of a problem to do with the hardware of your computer, the sound producing hardware of your machine. And the problem is that every machine is different. So what Sibelius have done is they've set the default to be what they know that every machine has and unfortunately that is the worst option. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go to the play tab and I'm going to go to the setup area here and I'm going to click this wee box here which will open the playback devices. Now what we're looking at is to do with the playback, it's the engine that plays back. So I want to go to the audio engine options and you'll see this dialog box opens up. The latency figure here is the figure that you want to get as low as possible. Now you can see here um, it sets itself by default to the primary sound driver DS and it does that because every Windows machine has a primary sound driver. Unfortunately DS is the worst option. So let me show you what I mean. If I bring this, interfa this uh, interface drop down, down there are various options here and what you will see when you do this on your machine will be different from what you see here because again every machine is different. Hopefully you'll see some that say ASIO beside it, probably a generic low latency ASIO driver. If you have other um, hardware at attached you may have a, an external sound card attached in which case that may well have its own ASIO driver listed there. ASIO does tend to be the best option so you always want to try and find an ASIO driver. If you don't have one of these, have a look on the web for ASIO for all. This is a generic ASIO driver that you can download and install. It's free and it will install perfectly happily on any Windows machine. And it's a, it's a good option if you don't have a, a low latency ASIO driver on your machine here. So let me show you what happens to this latency figure when I click on the ASIO driver. You can see it's gone down to 20.27. That's much more acceptable and you wouldn't even notice that, to be honest, when it was when you were playing it. The other options in here are MME. They're not too bad usually. If I click on one of these, let's say the speakers, 69.6, it's not too bad, it's not ideal, you still, you would still notice that. Or Wasapi, again that goes down to 42, that's probably not too bad, that's probably acceptable. You want to get as low as you can, 40 is usually acceptable, somewhere around about 20 is ideal. Primary sound driver, any of the DS ones, forget it, that's just unusable, you would not be able to use that at all. So you want to set it to your best option there, which in this machine is the ASIO one. Click close, click close and you're ready to go.